Hi everyone, um, I'm Tony, this is Tabatcha, we're building a boat and I guess the thing is we're, we're building a fairly low tech and fairly low budget boat so um, you know, these videos are just all about how we go about doing that. So let's go up on the forward deck. Good so up here on, on the main deck, um, not a right lot of head height up to the top of the shed but um, enough for me to sit here. Um, this week got the main deck glassed and sealed, which was good. It was only sealed with epoxy. I did that back in the winter, and this week managed to get the glass on it, which is you know a great forward step of progress. I'm pleased. Um, doing a big flat area like this is a bit different to doing the aft deck. The aft deck, of course, that you saw last week is, is that triangular shape with the bulwarks either side. So you and with the cockpit and, and the lazarette hatch, a lot of cutting around, a lot of working in that triangle with the raised sides there. This is just a big flat area really. Obviously it's got a bit of crown to it, but basically a big flat area. So much easier in many ways to glass. But it is a big area. I had to do it in three strips. So started off, usual thing of course, put the put a six inch tape fore and aft around the, the joint here. Um, I had already taped the sides a while back and then when that was dried off, give it all a good sand over. Rolled out epoxy up the centre strip, let it tack off, usual thing, rolled out the cloth. And then once the centre strip was done, did the two sides, same story. Um, so three strips to cover the deck, a bit of overlap naturally. And it's come out very nicely, I'm pleased.
Once, of course, usual thing again, once it was dried off, give it another hand sand over, or trimmed up, first of all, then a hand sand over, and then a, a coat of wet epoxy to fill the weave. I should say a few words about the, about the outlook, where we're going in the at least nearest future. Nearest future, because the three decks are now glassed, sealed, which is great. The one th major part that still needs glassing is the, these sides, the, the coach roof sides and, and the ball outsides. So hopefully we'll get that done this week. We've got a holiday coming up on Thursday, a national holiday, so that could be an opportunity to do a bit of glassing. Um, that would be good. And then we're starting to think about pieces of trim, wood trim on the outside, maybe some paint. Obviously the other deck box has got to be made. Um, but I'm starting to think about getting some epoxy primer on her, which is a major step forward and, and will completely change the appearance. I think for the summer, this summer, the goal is to get as much done on the outside of the boat as possible. I was, I was toying with the idea of going back inside, but I think it makes sense to, to use the good weather, use the temperatures, and try to get as much done on the outside as possible, and try to get her sealed up, get this hatch done, get the sliding hatch done, if that's possible this summer. Uh, maybe it is. And so she can be sealed up, and then in the colder weather, it's easy enough to run a little heater inside, keep her warm for painting and, and building out inside. So that's the thinking at the moment. I've spent a lot of time this week looking at wood, because I'm trying to make my mind up about what sort of wood to use for the outside trim. And you may remember, uh, or perhaps you don't remember, but I've said and I've stuck to the idea that I do not want to use any new tropical hardwood on this build. So I don't, I've got no problem with using recycled hardwood, recycled tropical hardwood, but I'm not going to buy any new tropical hardwood at all. So, and I do need to buy a few bits of bits of hardwood for the outside trim. And I say I spent a lot of time looking at wood, reading up about wood species, properties, um, and I've gone for um, what I always suggested I might go for. I've gone for black locust or false acacia, rabinia, whatever you wish to call it. Um, I've ordered it. I should pick it up tomorrow. 
and we'll see how that goes because it's uh, the, the forums online and whatever vary. Some people say it's extremely hard to cut. Other people say it's okay. We'll find out when we've got it and try cutting it. Hopefully I can cut it to size for the pieces I want and then we'll trim her out with, with that as far as uh, the larger pieces that I need go. I've still got a fair bit of recycled and old mahogany, some bits of teak. So if smaller pieces I can use that, but the larger pieces will be, be um, black locust. Decided. Purchased. Good. We'll cut there. Okay, there we go. That's it for this week. Next week will be something a bit different, I think. Um, if it all works out what I'm intending to do this week. That's a bit of variety coming your way. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe, please. Give us a thumbs up, all that stuff. And uh, see you next time. Bye. <laughs>